Hello everybody, Crimson Buddhist here. So, I bet you guys thought we forgot about our Left 4 Dead series, but we did. And I'm joined today by... Crimson Vigil. Hello everybody. And so we're going to tell you guys how to beat Dead Air on... What's the difficulty called? I don't even remember. Me neither. Um, we haven't played this game in a long time. We really haven't played it in a while. Realistic? Um, no. Legendary? No. No, that's, I think, I'm pretty sure that's it. Insane? No. I don't know. The hardest the hardest difficulty. I can't believe I can't remember that. But Expert. That's Expert. what it was. There yeah. we go. We got, there it. we got it. I know I have you here for a reason. All right. Let's go. So, this is the best spot in the game. And uh, why is this the best spot in the game, Aaron? It's because we're on a small hill that is wide open, so you can see enemies coming towards you. So you can pretty much kill them off before they reach you. And the tanks. And the tanks. Are retarded. And they try to walk through the plane instead of around it. Like yes. Um, we'll probably see it here in a little bit, and I'll explain that when that happens. Yeah. So, uh, we only, it, I mean, it's a standard setup for finale sequences. You have your horde and a tank, and then a horde and then a tank. So we just cut out the last horde and last tank, because it's really just the same thing. So, uh, other, it, it's now it's a four minute video instead of like a freaking eight minute video or something. It's just more, um, compact and better. You'll see lag occasionally, I have no idea what that is, but, uh. You can get over it. Is there anything else you want to say about this, Aaron? Uh, other than it's just kind of a rinse and repeat process like the, all the other finales. Uh, except for when tanks come. I think we're about to see that here in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this is probably the one finale. Every time I say use a shotgun, this is probably the one finale where it's okay to use like a sniper and assault rifle. I think we have like two assault rifles or an assault we rifle. We had three shotguns and one assault rifle. I was the one using the assault rifle. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Now we have the tank. Okay, uh, on tanks on this finale, for some reason or another, the programmers had it where they just come straight towards you. So they try to walk through the plane rather than around it, so they always get stuck on the plane. So their timer will either run out and they die super quick, or you can just shoot them to death without them moving. But for some reason at this part, somebody threw a pipe bomb yeah. and moved the tank. I'm so play Bogan because Yeah, I think Bogan messed that up. Yeah, we were playing with three people here, as you could probably read. Um, yeah. Well, the pipe bomb, like, made him stagger, and he does, like, a little sidestep thing. Yeah, so then he figures he, he can just walk forward after the sidestep and just walk into you and yeah. start attacking you. But he does get stuck again on the back of the plane. So, I mean, it's really easy if you just run around the plane, even if he does get uh, uh, dislodged from his glitched spot. Yes. The only problem with this is um, you are not, I wouldn't say you're threat-free from the tank, because he can still throw rocks. Yeah. But um, you're really open up to like special infected like hunters and smokers, like yeah. you just saw. Yeah, that's probably the worst part of this is the the hunters and smokers. Uh, by the way, if you do have an AI or two AI, I'm almost gonna say it's not worth it to save them. Um, we do here, and then they just die like a few seconds later, so it's just wasting time, honestly. So I don't know if you have AI, just forget about them. They're fucking retarded anyway. Yeah, they're pretty stupid. There are sacrificial meat shields. Um, it's a pretty standard stuff still, uh, heal whenever you hear the tank music coming, because for one, he'll get glitched, and you'll have time to heal, or, you know, it takes a while to get there anyway, so. Um, you'll probably see a jump cut here in a second. Uh, as far as the setup goes, have one person watching the left, one person watching the right, and one person watching back and forth, that's probably the best, the best way to do it. And, uh... I guess that's it. Anything else you want to say, Aaron? No, that's pretty much it. And you can see us here uh, throwing the final pipe bomb. Yeah, pipe bombs are always useful. Yeah, pretty useful. I don't think we used any Molotovs or pipe bombs while we were... No, I actually. Bogan I think just I'm, used one right there at the uh, end. I mean, like, while oh. we were at the oh, yeah. spot. All right. Um, I guess we'll see you guys later. We'll probably do the Blood Harvest one in a little while, so get excited for that. Peace out. Peace out.